I talked about um, entrepreneurship and the power of entrepreneurship, um, particularly in large-scale organisations and the opportunity um, to kind of instill agility within large-scale businesses but also the threat of not doing so and I talked a little bit about some examples of organisations from lots of different technologies um, and in lots of different stages of development that have been really successful and how they've managed to do it. I talked a bit about my own organisation which is Kerry Foods and um, Kerry Foods is an organisation that has always had a bit of an entrepreneurial spirit within its DNA um, and it's always punched above its weight and taken some pretty big bets based much more on team judgement than on process and it has a real mantra of continuously improving things rather than striving for perfection um, before doing something. So I think that's very aligned to the, the principles of entrepreneurial thinking, focusing on agility um, and getting things done and learning rather than waiting to, to make them perfect and then taking them to market. And the questions were very much about applying the thinking, which I was um, really encouraged by. So one of the points, for example, that I made was the um, importance of the strategic direction being set from the top to include entrepreneurship and to instill that in the business. So the questions were around how, how do you influence senior leaders if they're not in that same place? Um, and any tips and advice on how to manage risk, which is one of the big challenges with entrepreneurship. How do you um, get enough um, commercial rigour when you're, when you're placing lots of bets and testing lots of things, which you tend to do in an entrepreneurial environment. So some of the questions, I think, were um, very much about applying the thinking, which was encouraging.